everyone. Uh, my name is Vikas and in this session we will discuss about the pipeline traffic and network setup. Uh, so this is a series of the video which we are making uh, to uh, understand about the different files which we have in the Hyperledger fabric. So uh, before you jump to this session I would recommend you to go to the previous lessons uh, and the previous blog which you can just go here. Uh, this is the tutorial which we have talked about. And in the last session, we have talked about the crypto config file, and that file will help us to generate the cryptographic material which we require for all the organizations, uh, which can be order, which can be a peer organizations, and there are multiple users involved under each organization, and so on. So this is the prerequisite before you jump to this next part. So uh, as we discussed in the last video, uh, in the crypto config file. Uh, we define, we have uh, the file structure which define the orders and peer nodes, then we define the users under each peer organizations. Now the next part here is the config uh, tx.yml file. So what we have done for this video, uh, for this config uh, tx file, we have split this uh, file to two parts to make, make it more clear. In the first part, we will explain about the structure only, we will not go to the hands on. Uh, in the very first part, we will explain you that how this file look like, what kind of details we have in this file, and that will make you very clear about that what kind of structure it will have basically, and uh, what it will do when we run this one basically. So that is the first part. In the part number two, we will explain you, uh, we'll go over the hands-on, uh, <coughs> sorry, and we'll create the genesis block and we create a channel based on this file. So this is how we'll go along with this uh, config tx.yml file. So again, this is the part one where we go mainly on the theory part, not on the hands-on. Or hands-on will be the part two, which we'll discuss going forward. So uh, if you just if you want to go over the blog, if you want to read, uh, then you can go to this URL. <coughs> so I will also share this URL in this video description so that you can go and uh, go over in this detail. But at high level, as you can see in this blog, which we have mentioned, the config tx.yml file consists of mainly five parts. But before I jump to this one, uh, just to understand at high level, as we have discussed in the last session, so crypto config file, that is a part, uh, that is a step one, is used to generate the cryptographic material. So now this config tx file is mainly, if you ask me at high level why we use this file, so this file is mainly used to create your channel and the genesis block. So this is your step 2 in the hyperledger fabric network setup. So part 1 we already discussed, this is a part 2. And the part 2 we have further split to two portions, part 1, part 2. So we are discussing the part 1 only. So as you can see the structure of config tx.yml file is having organization section, then we have order section, then we have application sections, then capabilities and the profile sections. So we'll go over each of this section in the detail and uh, what we are doing here, we are offering the fabric sample uh, here basically uh, just to make you aware about how it look like. But fabric sample do not have all the details, so we have made some more changes also just to make you aware all the section uh, which we have in this one. So let's go over each, each of the section in the detail. So the very first section is the organization sections. Okay. So as the name suggests, uh, let me go down first of all. Let me show you this is how it look like. So this is how it will look like basically. So as the name suggests, the organization section talking about the organizations which we have in the Hyperledger Fabric Network. So organization can be your uh, order organization which is hosting your order only or it can be the other organization which is a peer organization basically. So this section will change as per your requirement but as you can see this section is talking about one order organization and two peer organizations which is organization one and organization two. So whenever you create this config tx file, you will define the organization section. This will start from here. So organization will be your main uh, tag. And under one, under that one, you can define the order organization. So this is a syntax basically for that one. This is uh, again a YAML file. 
then uh, under each organization you will have a name you will have an id then you will also have a msp directory so what it mean actually so this msp directory is going to refer to the cryptographic material which we have generated in the last uh, lesson so if you remember in the last uh, video in the crypt crypto config file generation so this file path will change in the last video we have used a path crypto uh, hyphen output but now i have mentioned it here crypto hyphen config so you can just change it as per your requirement but the idea here is that this msp directory is referring to the cryptographic material which we have created in the last video so for order this is the structure it will look like when we talk about the peer organizations if you take this example organization 1 again this will have a na name this will have a id and this is again referring to the cryptographic material which you have along with that it will also mention the anchor peers <clears throat> so if you remember uh, in the con crypto config file we have mentioned about template and the count where we have mentioned that how many peer i need under each organization right so that is uh, referring to this one so this will referring to the host name of the peer and the port number so this is how the very first section look like so this is at the minimum level and this may change as per your requirement uh, but this is the basic idea about this this is section which you will see in every config uh, text uh, txt file so this is the very first section and the second section is the order section <clears throat> so in the order section as you can see this is the example we have put so this section mainly talking about talking about the order only so as we just talk about in the organization the organization can be your order organization or it can be a peer organization but we do have a specific section for the order now as you already aware order can be of two type uh, you can have a solo order or you can have a kafka order okay uh, at very high level so solo we generally use uh, in the development uh, uh, environment which having only one node but kafka uh, we use mainly when we go in the production or the high environment so solo is preferred only doing your hands on or the development environment but as you go along to high environment you should switch from solo to kafka so first of all uh, this uh, syntax will show you that the order type is solo or kafka so this file uh, this will change as per your environment so right now for the fabric sample for the basic network we have defined solo and then it is having the host name and port number also like if you see order.example.com and the port number now the below is the batch uh, details so as we already know that what the role uh, it play order it take all the transactions it uh, maintain the sequence then it create the block right so batch is nothing a block only basically so batch time out here talking about that uh, after how much time uh, it should create a batch like suppose after every 2 seconds it will go and check okay how many transactions i will have and i will create a batch for that one then there are some uh, detail about batch size uh, like how many maximum uh, message we can have in one batch it is mentioned 10 then there are few other para parameters also so this parameter will keep on changing as per your uh, requirement and as per your uh, uh, the environment which you are using whether you are in development or in the higher environments then the below is mentioned about kafka so since we are using the order type as solo so you will see only one host and port here like 127.0020 this is the local then port number but in case you use order type as a kafka you will you may see multiple broker here because it may have multiple nodes basically right so this is how the order section look like in the config txt.yml file which talk about the order mainly here now the next section is the application section which is not not having much detail but this is being referred in the profile section basically so you can see here so how syntax look like here so we have applications and the name is like application defaults and this is just referring to organizations so uh, the command is also mentioned here organization is a list of organization which are being defined as a participants 
So this is there is nothing, nothing much in the application section here. So now once you go down here, the uh, capability section. So capability sections you may not be able to find in the fabric sample example. Uh, but uh, we have tried to explain it here because this is a new feature which you will get in the Hyperledger Fabric 1.1. So the idea behind this one is that uh, in a big network where you have multiple uh, uh, organization in one network, maybe 10, 15, 20, okay, there may be chances that every organization have a different version of fabric code running, okay. So ideally it should be same but it may be a scenario. So you don't want to lose, you don't want to have issues when there is a uh, different version running on different uh, organizations, nodes, right. So this capability will help you in that direction and this will help make sure that everyone has the same view of transaction irrespective of their version which they are using. So capability of three type as we has mentioned it here it is of channel type. So when you define a capability at channel level that is applicable to both order and peers. But when you define at order level it is only applicable to orders as the name suggests. When you define at applications, uh, that is only applicable to peer organizations, not to order. So, okay. So, this is a three type of uh, capability which you can define. So, as you can see, the sample is down below. So, global is for both uh, order and peer node, peer organizations. Order is for only for orders and application is only for applications. So this is a capability section, then the last section is a profile which is a main section basically which I will say because this contains the detail about the genesis block and the channel. So this is going to refer all the section which we have defined till now. So as you can see here this is a sample for the profile section sorry and the very first tag is a genesis. So you can define the name here about your genesis, I have defined like two organization order genesis and then we have to find the capability here and capability is uh, at channel level that means it is uh, applicable for both uh, ordered as well as the peer organizations. Then it has an order uh, which is referring to the order defaults which we already defined in the upper sections then it is referring to the organizations and the order is having its own organization which is order organizations right. So this is the details which you see and then it will mention that okay Genesis block will have a consortium and which will have two organization, organization 1 and organization 2 which is already being defined under the organization section. So this this tag uh, when, whenever we go to a part 2 we'll use this tag to create a Genesis block that will get saved to one file basically. And the next section is a channel. Uh, so this section defines the channel about the fiber hyperledger fabric network. So again, this is a basic. Uh, this may change as per your requirement. You can have multiple channel as well instead of having only one channel. So this channel, if you can see here, so this is a consortium again. The name is mentioned here. This is a sample consortium, and then again, this application is being referred here. And this is mentioned, okay, in this channel I will have two, uh, two organizations, organization 1 and organization 2 and capabilities are ap at the application level. So these capabilities are only applicable for the organizations, the peer organizations basically, not the order basically. So uh, this is the basic structure of the config uh, TX file that will help uh, uh, to generate the genesis block and the channels uh, which will cover the part 2 but I am hopeful that you will get some idea from this post like how it will look like although as a developer uh, you need not to uh, worry about much about this one because this is generally handled by your administrator but uh, uh, you should be aware about the content about all kind of information we have so that uh, in some in uh, in some scenario in case you have to change something you are aware that okay what is being changed and uh, the syntax has to be correct also. So I'm hopeful that you like this video and this is helpful for you and thanks for watching.